Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I've got another mini trifold journal to share with you today. I really hope you're not getting absolutely sick to the back teeth of these little journals, but I have to say I haven't quite got them out of my system yet. I really enjoy making them. Um, I have a few reserve orders uh, still in the pipeline, um, but this is the latest one I finished. I have to own up, it did take me a while to finish this one. I kind of lost my mojo with having the break over Christmas and one or two personal things that have happened at home um, since then. But I actually managed to get her, her finished a couple of days ago. Um, but I haven't had time to um, record a video before now. Um, one reason being because I went on a workshop yesterday with Anne Brooks who is a UK textile artist and oh my goodness what a, an amazing amazing day um, and if it's not going to bore you too much I'll probably put up a, a very short video um, telling you about the workshop uh, telling you a little bit about Anne Brooks in case you you don't know her and um, a quick show and tell of um, what I made or what I started um, at that workshop yesterday but oh such a fabulous day anyway I'm digressing this is the little mini trifold journal um, and if you have seen previous videos of these journals you'll know that they're about four and a half by six one single signature inside um, this is just a little personal card that I've made that um, I'm going to write and send to the lovely lady um, who has reserved this journal. So going inside, very, very fine um, sari silk. And there we go. Ooh, back in frame. So this is the cover. Uh, usual thing, collage with vintage papers, botanical papers, um, French English dictionary music, um, correspondence paper. And these are some fussy cuts from um, the Janet Marsh book, which I absolutely love. Um, so this is what she looks like when she's opened up. Sorry, I'm out of frame. So that's the back cover and pocket. And there we go. We'll, I'll, I'll go through it all in detail. So uh, I did a video recently showing these little um, faux envelope journaling spots. So this is the one that I decided I would put in here. Um, basically because of this gorgeous button, um, vintage button. So I just wanted to do, share that with the lady who's having this, this journal and open it up so it's a journaling spot inside this is the um, journaling card I made I'm all over the place today aren't I sorry about that um, that's the journaling card with um, it was made out of computer card so I'm just going to pop that to one side uh, a collage front pocket with some of Tracy Fox's um, number labels and some stickers this is a little lace cluster and I have a few, just a few of these lovely, lovely ceramic buttons. So I wanted to share that as well. Lace pocket in here and another journaling card. Everything is stitched and inked around the edges. Um, a little bit of layering on one of my clog receipts. Lace tab there with a vintage button and it's the same on the other side. This is a pocket here with just book pages on the back. Stitched a little bit of lace, it flips open. I've done some um, collaging here with washi, vintage uh, French ledger paper and a washi stamp. This is a genuine vintage receipt from 1929 that I've included in. Um, it was a really good size, so there's a journaling spot, plenty of space for journaling in this journal. So journaling spot behind there. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. This is um, piano roll paper, and I like to double mine over and stitch it. Um, so you just get a hint of the red, red line. So I've tried to pick that up in a little bit in the washi tape, a little bit of lace, more layering up there. Um, this is some vellum with a Japanese ticket and some Chinese book text and again here 
and this is a tuck spot whoops a daisy can't get my finger underneath it under this vellum here if uh, it wants to be used or if you're going to use it this is one of my flip up flip outs is it, ooh, is it stuck just bear with me a second there we go a flip up flip out journaling spot with a sticker at the bottom more lace and Chinese book page there going over the page um, more vintage French text from um, uh, a deed that I managed to get from France this is a ranger tab uh, which I've put a leaf print inside two little tiny tags and there is a little letter J silver J at the top there uh, a big pocket here or big for this size of journal and I put some botanical book pages inside Just a botanical image here, Tracy Fox um, number label there. Lace side pocket. This is just a little journaling spot that I've tied with some French vintage uh, linen and it opens like so. Just very plain this one. Over the page, some collaging here and this is a vintage cigarette card so it's protected in this little vellum pocket there I can get it back in no is it gonna go oh I'll pop it back in in a moment uh, a journaling spot I made out of um, a contemporary business card actually I just thought it's um, a business card or some eco printing so I've just stamped it layered it up um, and I've made it into a little journaling spot with a lovely piece of um, book page. And actually, this is this music here. It was the book page that went with that music. And it's just held in place with a Ranger paper clip. And I've managed to clip two pages there. Whoops, a daisy. There we go. Um, lace cluster here or um, raw silk cluster with a bit of lace and some eyelash trim this flips out some collaging here I've made a pocket here with some vellum and a little journaling card here we have um, just a little bit of sari silk tied onto that paper clip just to add a little bit of interest <clears throat> excuse me some more collaging underneath and some lace edging and then this is a little vellum envelope that I've collaged on and there's a couple of little French flashcards inside and that just clips over the edge of my page there doesn't really need the paper clip but kind of put it on for decoration um, an eyelet at the top here with some lace and this is um, part of um, an earring that I bought when I was um, in Vietnam I bought several of, of these not to wear because it's not my kind of thing um, and I had in mind to use them as dangles in some of my journals <coughs> excuse me um, here we have a printed vellum page and anyone that knows Nick the Booksmith will recognise this as one of her uh, digis. Some graph paper there, um, a pocket here made of a glassine bag, another little flash card, a ticket and a little journaling card with some lace on the bottom, a little bit of collaging and a die cut there. Um, a little piece of photo paper, photo album protected paper, 
preserve a book of flowers and shrubs with a little bit of collaging and some stitching. Same again on the other side with one of Tracy Fox's um, uh, definition labels. This is some printed vellum that I've just stitched onto painters, painter's masking paper. Um, a die cut here. Here we have a Ready Retina page that I've made into a long pocket. And there is a long journaling spot inside, like so. Just tucks into the top there. This is a um, library cabinet card that I've just collaged on the back and put more of the brown masking paper on the reverse <clears throat> so that it marries in with that page. A tag here made with more of the computer card. As you can see this is just botanical paper with some more Fussy Cuts and Tracy Fox labels. Aren't they invaluable, those labels? They're absolutely perfect. So well done, Tracy, for coming up with that idea. Um, this is my Rachel Roxy Creations page. I just absolutely love this page. If you've seen my last um, flip through of a journal, I just fell in love with this. Um, so I wanted to do the same in this journal. So this was my original botanical page. This was just a book page and I've done some fussy cutting and then I've made a vellum pocket to go across the, the bottom. And then these are just some little faux postcards that I made and stamped the back. And that goes in. They do catch slightly on the um, die cuts, I'm afraid. Um, not the die cuts, the fussy cutting, so you need to pop them in gently but the one that goes in the back pocket obviously goes in nice and smoothly. This is the centre of my signature as you can see and I've just done a couple of little hearts um, for the end of the pages but you can easily snip those off close to the knot um, if they're not your thing and with my knots I double knot them and I also put a little bit of glossy accents in the centre um, so they're quite secure if you wanted to chop these threads off um, a lot closer. Um, just a journaling spot here, and this is a uh, tuck spot at the top. Here I've done a little notebook, so we have vellum on the top. We have some ghost images from um, ghost images, um, ghost image pages from a little notebook. Um, so there's lines on the back, different images, and then right at the very back. I've put in one of the clog receipt tops for you to write on and that just pops underneath there and as you can see there's the Ready Reckoner page underneath. Some collaging here so there's a little fabric flower a vintage stamp, um, some book pages that I've stitched round, some vintage indenture paper, some lace and then I've stamped the number three and cut it out and glue that onto the page. Uh, a couple of little tiny um, tags, I suppose you'd call these. They're not big enough to journal on. I think you'd get a couple of words. But I love this little um, vintage button. It's a mother of pearl vintage button. And there's just a photo tab there. And they just sit in behind this, which is um, one of my um, Turkish map fold journaling spots and I'll put the link to the video down below so that just opens up or collapses down <laughs> which you know Sol's Laura it's not going to want to collapse down now there we go come on oh no what's happening here we go there we go it will open and fold properly without doing that I promise you and it's magnetized so it just stays in place and those just tuck in behind so another observer page. Here I've put in a vintage slide of an orchid and another one of these little tiny journaling cards. And there's a lace pocket down the bottom there. And then this just folds up across the corner. As you can see, it's computer page. 
a computer card and behind this hydrangea there is a tuck spot there if you want to use it. Um, she was getting quite chunky as mine always seem to do so I haven't filled all the, um, the spots up. Here we have a top corner tuck spot and a camellia journaling card again on one of those computer cards and then this is um, some ranger vellum so you have a tuck spot behind if you want one so that goes in there like so and over the page where are we just some collaging and layering here piece of music page paper and if you can see I put a tiny tiny leaf window in that flip out over the page this is secured with another paper clip again this is another one of my little floating pockets and there we go that's that side and that's that side and then there's just a little piece of ephemera paper inside Uh, this is um, a flip out, like so, with fussy cut of a sweet pea inside. And then if you open it up this side, it flips out again. But it is actually secured, secured in place on the page, so it actually won't come off. Um, but it opens up to give you a fairly good journaling spot. Um, and this is uh, not a fussy cut, it's uh, a page from um, the book I mostly use for my botanical journals. So this is another page from that journal. Over the page we have a big pocket with a mimic tag. I like to call them mimic tags because they mimic what's on the, um, on the pocket. Some French ledger paper from the uh, deed that I referred to earlier. A long journaling card just to go in this lace pocket. Some fussy cut and layering here and more fussy cutting down this page. I love the greens and the oranges and reds of this. Um, so I think this actually is my favourite page even though it's got no pockets or tucks or anything. Um, I just love it. Um, a little lace cluster in the corner with some seed beads on a coilless safety pin. This one is a flip over, another one of those um, paper, range of paper clips with a little bit of sari silk. And this comes off completely and it flips over like so. And there's a journaling card in the back there in a top pocket. And then inside there's a little bit of fussy cutting and then some layering at the bottom and it's bordered with lace. And then that's the page that it covers, which as you can see from the line and the holes is bia uh, piano. <laughs> piano paper. Oh Lord. So there we go. So that just clips over the top of the page. It doesn't really need the paper clip, but I just thought it might be nice to have a little bit of fluff poking out the top of the journal. Oh, on the other side, I shouldn't have put that in place, should I? And then you could have seen the other page. That would have helped. Um, some more layering on this page. Um, this is French exercise book. Um, this is some a 6x6 six six paper pad. And this is uh, a couple of vintage stamps that I've layered on top of each other to get the actual size that I wanted. Oh, I love this pocket. Um, this is just a page that I folded over and then um, folded back the corner to get a triangle and then I put a sticker on the top to create the organic edge. This is the card that goes in the pocket and I've created a belly band on the back using um, a French, a French, a Chinese um, ticket. This is some of that um, six by six paper pad with a little um, sticker on it and I've just created a little envelope there to tuck behind and it is magnetized so it just stays nicely shut just love that sound and that just goes in the pocket there a little bit of lace here a couple of tags a vintage button 
and then more of this French exercise paper. So this just lifts up. Whoops, a daisy. Doesn't want to. Haven't got my glasses on, so I can't see what I'm doing basically. <laughs> there we go. It folds down like so. So there's a little stamp and um, some fussy cutting to one side of it. And then the bottom sheet is just plain for journaling on. And there's a little sticker at the bottom there. So these just fold up and tuck under the seam and just sit nicely there. Over the page, this is, you'll have seen me make these. These are just botanical book page um, tags with a glassine pocket stitched on, a cigarette card and layered up at the bottom with uh, a stamp, some offcuts of the um, Japanese Chinese ticket or Oriental ticket, a little bit of lace and then I've done a little bit of layering up with some lace and the ticket as you can see to create a journaling spot. And then on this back page what I've done is I've done a, a bit of fussy cutting on that flower and just left it pretty plain really. The back there is a tuck spot here with a little tag in it and it's just laid up with some more of that exercise paper and a Tracy Fox um, number label. More collaging here, that little bit just wants pressing down. One of these cards in the back, and that's the back cover. And then this is the final page, again with more layering up in this pocket, whoops off screen, sorry about that, let me get myself squared up here for you, there we go. I was getting some glare from the window that's in front of me, um, so I decided to put a mat down to kind of um, cut out that glare, but it's moving all over the place so I'm going to have to anchor it down if I do this in future. This is the um, journaling card that goes in that back pocket and again some more of that vintage um, French deed to line the back. So there we have it. Um, I hope you like my flip through. Thank you so much for bearing with me as I do another one, yet another one, of these um, little mini trifold journals. Um, as I say, they're not quite out of my system yet and I do have a few few more reserve orders in the pipeline but I will be getting on to um, some more one-off journals um, shortly but um, thank you so much for letting me share that with you today I hope you enjoyed it um, and I hope to see you soon with a couple um, of videos I learnt yesterday the joy of seeing somebody's studio and so I thought I would try and share with you my own workspace and also I'll do a very quick video talking about uh, Anne Brooks's workshop yesterday and what I did as I mentioned. Um, it'll only be a very short video <laughs> but maybe I could keep you up to date um, uh, over the next few weeks with how I finish off my um, vintage fabric collage uh, roll project which is what we made yesterday or what I started yesterday. Anyway enough's enough thank you so much everybody for joining me um, and watching my video. Um, if you'd like to I would very much like it if you would um, press the like button and if you're not a subscriber please I would love to have you join my channel and become a subscriber and to all my new subscribers hello welcome and thank you so much for joining me take care everybody bye bye now